Hi, I'm Ryan from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. I'm dealer for SQL accounting software. So if you are, want to make purchase, training, support, or come for a one-day certificate course, you can contact me directly. Please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies to get the latest information regarding SQL accounting or payroll system and also our company. You may also post your question or inquiry over here and I'll answer accordingly. You may also go to youtube.com slash syntax technologies to browse for all the previous tutorial for both of the SQL system. In this lesson, I'll talk about bonus processing in SQL payload. There are two ways to process payload for uh, bonus. The first method is without keying the pending bonus, meaning that you process the first, then you key in the amount. How that? So you just go to payroll, new payroll, ad hoc. For example, you want to just for bonus in February, contribute to EPF and PCB. You take the first one, then take bonus. Okay. Process. So what happens is the amount is totally empty. All you need to do is just key in the amount you wish to pay. For example, five thousand. Then the system will automatically do the calculation for you. Save it. Do for the other employee. This is the first way, which is without key in the pending, you process first, key in the amount later. Second method is key inside pending bonus. So you key pending bonus, go to ad hoc, tick, then process the bonus. Because this is a sample company, so you need to delete the process payroll and do another processing. For example, for the second method, we go to open planning, we key under the amount you want to pay. This one is 3,000, this one is, oh, sorry, this one is 3,000, this one is 2,000. Sorry, this is this. Okay, so you save it. Then, you go to payroll, new payroll. At hop. First time you click the second process. Up to the contribution put zero. And you this. Okay, process. And you can see the amount is processed. Why doesn't have the EPM and so because you can take over here and also the up to date you set to zero. So if you want to deduct the EPL and SOXO together, you need to do this and redo the process. Okay. That's all for today. If you have any questions or you want this template, you can contact me directly. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.